Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we furthered our discussion on the importance of position sizing and talked about the percent risk method for determining position size. In today's lesson we're going to introduce another position sizing method which Dr. Van K. Tharp talked about in his book Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom which is known as the percent volatility method. So let's get started. Okay, so as we've discussed in our previous lesson on the average true range, volatility is basically how much the price of a financial instrument fluctuates over a given time period. Just as the average true range uh, can be referenced when determining when to or where to place your stop, it can also be used to determine how large or small a position you should trade in a given financial instrument. Uh, to help understand how this works, let's take another look at the example we used in our last lesson on the percent risk model for position sizing, but this time determine our position size using the percent volatility model for position sizing. So the first step in determining what your position size will be using the percent volatility model is specifying what percent of your total trading equity you're willing to risk as it relates to volatility. So for this example, let's say that we'll allow daily volatility as represented by the average true range to account for a maximum of a 2% loss of our trading capital. Okay. Um, so if you remember from our last lesson in that example, we had $100,000 in trading capital, so that would equate to a maximum volatility base loss uh, of $2,000. Okay, so 2% of that uh, 100000 there. If you also remember from that example, the current price of crude oil uh, was $90. Okay, and by pulling up a chart of crude oil, we would see that the current uh, average true range for crude is two dollars and fifty five cents okay so that equates to um, a average uh, true range in dollar amounts per contract if you remember the uh, point uh, one point movement or one cent move in a uh, in the price of crude oil equals ten dollars so ten dollars times two hundred and fifty five cents okay equals two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars is what the average true range is represented in a uh, dollar amount per contract so that means that the average true range for one contract of true crude oil represented in dollars per contract is two thousand five hundred and fifty okay now so since we've had since we've specified that the maximum uh, amount that we're willing to risk of our trading capital is 2000 and the uh, current ATR one ATR for crude is 2550 the number of contracts that we can trade in this example is zero because the uh, the dollar based uh, per contract average true range uh, is greater than what it, what we need to to stay within our two percent uh, volatility based loss limit there. Okay, um, as Dr. Van Tharp states in his book, the advantage of this model is that it standardizes the performance of a portfolio by volatility, or in other words, it doesn't allow the financial instruments with higher volatility to have a greater effect on performance than financial instruments with a lower volatility and vice versa. Uh, the position sizing uh, methodology that one ultimately chooses for his or her strategy should be decided by testing the strategy and seeing what works best, uh, the methodology for which we're going to cover in later lessons, but basically, um, you know, running through, se you know, several different, uh, you know, sizes and, and different position sizing methodologies and seeing what fits your strategy the best, okay? So that's our lesson for today. Um, while there are many other methods for position sizing out there, which I encourage you to explore, this finishes up my series on the subject. Um, if you're seeking more information, which I definitely encourage you to do on position sizing, I'm going to include a link to additional resources below the video if you're watching this on informtrades.com or in the description section if you're watching the video on YouTube or one of the other sites. So I encourage you to check that out for more resources on position sizing. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and good luck with your trading.